Good morning. Private third party. Prepayment plans. Private third party prepayment. Plans. It includes A. Commercial insurances companies. B. Non profit health service corporations. E.g., Delta Dental Plans. Blue Cross Blue Shield Association. C. Prepaid Group Practice. D. Capitation Plans. Private third party prepayment. Plans. Definition. It is defined as payment for services by some agency. Rather than directly by the beneficiary of those services, a first party, dentist second party, patient third party finance administrator. The dentist and the patient are the first and the second parties, and the administrator of finances is the third party. The third party is also known as the carrier, insurer, underwriter, or administrative agent. The term party refers to a private carrier, such as an insurance company, insurance principles and dental care. Earlier dental care was considered uninsurable by carriers. This reasoning was based on the assumption that the very nature of dental need violated the basic principles of the insurance. To be insurable, a risk must 1. Be precisely definable. 2. Be of sufficient magnitude that if it occurs, it constitutes a major loss. 3. Be infrequent. 4. Be of unwanted nature. 5. Be beyond the control of the individual. Insurance company have found that dental insurance can be made more feasible by 1. Have patient share the cost. 2. Limit the range of services available. 3. Offering services only to the groups. 4. Include waiting period after enrollment before. Benefits become payable. 5. Use pre-authorization and annual expenditure limits. Different types of payments offered by the insurer are Deductible CO insurance Group insurance Deductible it is a stipulated flat sum that the patient must pay toward the cost of treatment before the benefits of the program go into effect. It is also called as front-end payment. CO insurance. It is defined as an arrangement under which a carrier and the beneficiary are each liable for a share of the cost of the dental services provided. It is also known as CO payment A. It means that the patient pays a percentage of the total cost of treatment. Insurance carriers limit the range of health care services covered. This is termed as limitation of benefits. Group insurance. This is health insurance offered only to groups. The probability of adverse selection is also reduced by the use of waiting periods after enrollment before any benefits become available. The waiting period ensures that persons with existing disease are not simply going to use the plan to have their disease treated and then drop out. Reimbursement of dentists in prepayment plans. The ADA has consistently supported the concept of usual, customary, and reasonable UCR fee as the preferred method for reimbursement for dentist in prepayment plans. Usual fee. The fee usually charged for a given service by an individual dentist to private patients. Customary fee. A fee is customary when it is in the range of the usual fee charged by dentists of similar training and experience for the same service within the specific and limited geographic area. Reasonable fee. A fee is reasonable if it is justifiable considering the special circumstances or the particular patient in question. Table of allowances. It is defined as a list of covered services that assigns to 
each service a sum that represents the total obligation of the plan with respect to payment for such service. But that does not necessarily represent a dentist's full fee for that service. If the dentist fee becomes more than that assigned to that service by the carrier, the remainder will be collected by the dentist from the patient. Commercial insurance companies operate for profit. Characteristics They can be more selective about the group to which it chooses to offer dental insurance. They claim no obligation toward the dental health of the community. They sometimes arrange an indemnity program that provides specific cash payment reimbursement for specialized covered services. Commercial insurance companies organize their levels of reimbursement differently. Commercial companies do not conduct fee audits and post treatment dental examinations. Commercial insurance companies in India have now started providing insurance for dental procedures, which do not require hospitalization. Closed panel under prepayment plan is defined by ADA as existing if patients eligible for dental services in a public or private program can receive these services only at specified facilities from a limited number of dentists. Non-profit health service corporations Delta Dental Plans Delta Dental Plans is synonymous with Dental Service Corporation. A dental service corporation is a legally constituted dental society to negotiate and administer contracts for dental care. The National Associated of Dental Services Plans, NADSP, was formed in June 1966 with the help from ADA. It changed its name to Delta Dental Plans Association in April 1969. The underlying philosophy of the Delta Dental Plans is that the dental practitioners can adapt their traditional practice to meet the demand for group purchase of dental care. A Eurocent they have an obligation towards community. A Eurocent encourage utilization of services. Dentists participating in the plans have to agree to the following conditions. 1. Pre-filling of their usual and customary fees. 2. Fee audits by auditors from Delta Plan, who check their office records from time to time. The purpose is to ensure that the dentists are indeed charging their Delta Plan patients the same fees as they charge their other patients. 3. Post-treatment inspection of randomly chosen patients to monitor the quality of care. 4. Acceptance of payment for their services at their services at 90th percentile of fees as payment in full. 5. The withholding of a small amount of each fee to go into the Delta Capital Reserve Fund. Q. Non-participating dentists can also treat the patients covered under Delta Dental Plan. They are paid at a considerably lower percentile than the 90th often at the median or the 50th percentile. The 90th percentile. Suppose in an area there are 1,000 participating dentists. Their fees range from Rs 50 a Euro 90 for oral prophylaxis. Then we plot a graph with the fees in the x-axis and the percentiles on y-axis. The percentiles of a data set divide the total frequency into hundredths, so that 90th percentile is that value below which 90% of the observations lie. Q the figure shows that about 10% of dentists charge Rs.60 or less. 50% of dentists charge Rs.65 or less. 80% of dentists charge Rs.70 or less. 90% of dentists charge Rs.78 or less. When payment is made at the 90th percentile, it means that a payment of Rs.78 or their actual fee, whichever is less, is paid to the participating dentists. 
a dentist charging more than Rs.78 will get only Rs.78 50th percentile when payment at 50th percentile is made to the non-participating dentists it means that the dentists get Rs.65 or their actual fee whichever is less Delta plans have specific approaches to ensure the quality of the care provided to keep a program's cost why in its limits. Quality of care is monitored to ensure that the care claimed and paid for has in fact been provided. It is of acceptable quality. Blue Cross Blue Shield Association, say. The Blue Cross Association is a federation of 38 separate health insurance organizations and health insurance organizations and companies in the United States. Combined, they directly or indirectly provide health insurance to over 99 million Americans. Prepaid group practice. It is the term given to a group practice that provides dental. Services on a prepaid basis. Such groups are now generally regarded as open panels, though this has not always been so. ADA, 1969, has defined grouped practice as group. Practice is that type of dental practice in which dentists, sometimes in association with members of other health professions, agree formally themselves on certain central. Arrangement designed to provide efficient dental health. Service. Q types of group practice. A Eurocent general practice groups composed entirely of general practitioners. A Eurocent single specialty groups all members of the group are of the same specialty. A Eurocent multi-specialty groups certain practitioners in two or more specialty fields of practice. Q. The advantages for the dentist who practices in group R. A. Eurocent it provides better ways of organizing only Euro trademark s life. A. Eurocent there is less disruption in the practice caused by illness to a dentist. A. Eurocent quality of care is said to be improved because of the built in peer review. A. Eurocent financial fringe benefits such as sick leave and pension. Plans can be built into a group organization more readily, thus easing the day-to-day -day economic concerns of dental practice. Most group practices treat patients on the traditional fee-for-service basis and only a few administer prepaid programs. Some of these group practices operate as closed panels. Closed panel practice under a prepayment plan is defined by the ADA as existing if patients eligible for dental services in a public or private program can receive these services only at specified facilities from a limited number of dentists. Health Maintenance Organization HMO is defined as a legal entity which provides a prescribed range of services to each individual who has enrolled in the organization in return for prepaid fixed and uniform payment the four principles one organized system two comprehensive health maintenance and treatment services three an enrolled group for reimbursement organized system an hmo must be capable of bringing together directly or arranging for, the services of physicians and other health professionals with the services of inpatient and outpatient facilities for preventive and other care as well as any other health services that a defined population might reasonably require. The system promises continuity for the enrolled population through linkages between the components of organization comprehensive health maintenance and treatment services. The HMO must be capable of providing or organizing for the provision of the health 
services that a population might require, including primary care, emergency care, hospital care and rehabilitation. Primary care, one of the keystones of the HMO, emphasizes those services aimed at preventing the onset of illness or disability, at the maintenance of good health, and at the continuing evaluation and management of early complaints, symptoms, problems and the chronic aspects of disease. Primary care may be more graphically described as personal physician care or the entry point into the system, from which referrals to specialists are made. The consumers and the HMO agree on which services will be purchased from the HMO in return for the prepayment figure. An enrolled group members of the HMO are those people who voluntarily join the through a contract arrangement in which the enrolled agrees to pay the fixed monthly or other periodic payment to the HMO. Enrollees agree to use the HMO as the principal source of health care if they become ill or need care. Reimbursement HMOs use a peri-paid capitation system of financing medical service. Only a small proportion of HMOs offers dental services. Dental personnel in Hamoa Euro trademark S. 1. The staff model. 2. The group model. 3. The independent practice association, IPA. 4. The primary care capitated network. 1. The staff model. In this model, dentists, dental hygienists and Dental assistants are salaried employees of the HMO. There may or may not be a dental director to the group model. Here the HMO contracts directly with a group practice partnership or corporation for the provision of dental service. The group concerned receives a regular capitation premium from the HMO. The payment to the individual dentists is usually not affected by HMO contract though the amount may be. 3. The Independent Practice Association, IPA. It is an association of independent dentists or physicians that develops its own management and fiscal structure for the treatment of patients. Enrolled in an HMO. The IPA can also contract with other prepaid agencies such as Delta Plans, to provide dental services to specific groups on a capitation basis. The ADA considers the IPA to be an open panel, since all dentists in a community are supposedly free to join. However, in practice, the IPA may be selective. Dentists remain in their own offices and continue to treat their patients. The IPA receives its capitation premium from the HMO or any other prepayment agency and in turn reimburses the individual dentists on either a modified fee-for-service basis or a capitation basis. In many instances, the dentists is a euro or a risk a euro to provide the specified services. For the primary care capitated network, the network is similar to IPA except that the HMO contracts directly with the individual provider for provision of service. The provider again is at risk. Q capitation plans. A euro cent the basis of capitation is that the contracting provider whether a HMO, group practice IPA or Individual dentist receives an established, negotiated sum on monthly or yearly basis for each eligible patient. A euro cent the money is paid regardless of whether the patient utilizes care or not. In return, the patient is entitled to receive a prescribed set of services over a specified period. 
Apart from the development of Hamoa Euro trademark S, other third party carriers and even private entrepreneurs are becoming involved in the marketing of capitation plans. Some have a Euro open enrollment, a Euro trademark, meaning that plans are not purchased by specified groups but that an individual can buy in. Many of these offer only limited services, such as examination, prophylaxis, radiographs and treatment plan, and may be more saleable to participating dentists because the risk assumed is low. In areas where there is a real or perceived oversupply of dentists, these capitation plans could be attractive to both purchaser and provider. Thank you.